Okay guys, we're doing the last uh, video for this section of solving um, rational equations. Um, so here we go. So for number 17, if you can see, um, my denominators on my left-hand side are the same. And it is also a subtraction problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and combine those together. It's going to make this problem so much easier. So if I combine that together and do the math on that side, I'm going to get g minus 2 over g plus 2 equals 5 over g plus 4. And now I'm going to do what I did last lesson, which is cross multiply. So I get g minus 2 times g plus 4 equals 5 times g plus 2. Distribute. Um, so g times g is g squared. g times 4 is 4g. Negative 2 times g is negative 2g. And negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 equals 5g plus 10. Get everything on the same side, the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract 5g to 5g and subtract 10. That gives me g squared. Um, let's see. 4 minus 2 is 2. And 2 minus 5 is negative 3g. Um, minus 18 equals 0. So now I'm going to factor. So give me two numbers that multiply to be negative 18 and add to be negative 3. I'm thinking that 6 and 3, and they're both negative. So negative 6 and negative 3. So this is going to factor to g minus 6 times g plus 3 equals 0. So g minus 6 equals 0 and g plus 3 equals 0. That means g is going to equal positive 6 and negative 3. And do either of those numbers make my denominator 0? So I would need a negative 2 here and a negative 2 here and a negative 4 here. Nope. So there we go. g equals 6 and negative 3. Awesome. Good job, you guys. So now we're going to go ahead and go on to the next problem. Okay. So here, I don't have any um, common denominators. None of my denominators are the same. So what I'm going to do here is just I'm, I'm going to multiply the whole thing by whatever my common denominator is. So I need to know what, the, what number does 2, 8, and 3 go into. Well, let's see. I think that's going to be 24 is the number. And since there's a y here, right here, my common denominator is actually going to be 24y. So 24y. So what I'm trying to do is get rid of all my denominators. So I'm going to multiply that whole thing by 24y. So I get uh, 24y times y divided by 2 minus 24y times y divided by 8 equals 24y times 2 divided by 3y. Okay, now let's simplify my denominators um, and get rid of them. So 2 goes into 2 once and into 24 12 times. 8 goes into 8 1 time and into 24 3 times. And 3 goes into 24 8 times. And then the y's make a 1. And then let's see what we have left. So I've got 12y squared minus 3y squared equals um, 8 times 2, 16. Is that correct? I think that is correct. Okay. 8 times 2 is 16, yeah? Okay, I think that is correct. Um, did I do anything wrong? Nope, I think that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to combine my like terms. So 12 minus 3 is 9y squared equals 16. Divide by 9. So I get y squared equals 16 over 9. How do I undo a square? Yep, I square root. And if I square root one side, I've got to square root the other side. Great. So y is going to equal plus or minus 4 thirds. And does that make my one denominator zero? No. So my answer is plus or minus four thirds. Good job. 
Okay. That was pretty easy because I only had a y squared, so that made it made it nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on to number, here we go, so number 19. Again, I don't have a common denominator. I, I don't have two denominators that are the same. Let me not say a common denominator. I don't have two denominators that are the same, so I'm not going to add them together to make a proportion. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply by my common denominator. Well, um, let's see. I think my common denominator is going to be 4a because 4 and 2 both go into 4 and then a goes into 8. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to multiply. So I get 4a divided by a plus 4a divided by 4a equals 3 times 4a divided by 2a. So that goes away. That makes a 1. This makes a 1. Uh, the a's make 1. 2 goes into 2 once and into 4 2 times. So I get a plus 1 equals, um, I think that would be 6. And then I'm going to subtract 1. So a equals 5. And of course that doesn't make my denominator 0. So I get a equals 5. Okay, anybody have any questions? Well, look, anybody have any questions? I'm so sorry, I'm so used to saying that. This is the first time, I've been doing pretty good. This is the first time I've actually said that. So if you actually have any questions, please contact us. Um, we'll be glad to help you out. And then we have our last problem here. So again, we're gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the denominators by multiplying by my common denominator. So in order to do that, I think I'm gonna have to factor this one. So this one factors to four times x minus one. So, um, what is my common denominator? Well, f um, I think it's going to be 8 times x minus 1. Because 4 times 2 is 8, yep. And then I have x minus 1, yep. And then I, that takes care of the 8. Okay, so there's my common denominator. So I'm going to multiply that by everything. So I'm going to do 11 times 8 times x minus 1 all over 4 times x minus 1 minus 2 times 8 times x minus 1 all over x minus 1 equals x times 8 times x minus 1 all over 8. Okay, so now I want to make 1's. Well, 4 goes into 4 1 time and into 8 twice, x minus 1 and x minus 1 x minus 1 and x minus 1, and 8 and 8. So what do I have left? That's my question. So I have 11 times 2 is 22, minus uh, 2 times 8, which is 16, equals x times x minus 1. So let's see. 22 minus 16, I think it's 6, equals x squared minus x. So subtract 6, and I'm going to get x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Factor that. Um, what multiplies to be negative 6, adds to be negative 1. Pretty sure that's 3 and 2, negative 3 and 2, because this is negative and this is negative. So I'm going to get x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0. So x minus 3 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. So x is going to equal 3 comma negative 2. Does either one of those make my denominator 0? No, I think the only thing that would make it 0 is positive 1. So there are no extraneous solutions and there's my answer. Um, please, please make sure you're asking questions. Um, and of course, as always, I'll have extra online help for you available if you need it. Um, um, videos and just general reading uh, with, with example problems. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.